Okay, my name is Rick Hand. Today we're here at Fretz RV and I'm going to do a walk around on the J Feather 25RB. The J Feather is Jayco's lightweight trailer line. They make everything from hybrid trailers to uh, full size trailers like this. These are all framed in aluminum with styrofoam insulation and then the smooth fiberglass exterior. This particular one has the feature they call a glacier package, which gives you a completely enclosed underbelly with additional insulation in the roof as well as in the slide box. Uh, walking around here, you can see one of the options is these improved steps, which actually rest right on the ground, give you a nice firm entryway. Aluminum wheels are standard on the J Feather. Outside speakers. Um, walking around here is a an output for your digital TV antenna. You have an antenna on the roof that uh, connects to your inside TVs. You can also run a TV outdoors. You can see the nice size awning on this model with LED lighting underneath. Walking this way, we see the water heater. These run on uh, propane or electric. So if you're at a campsite uh, already paying for the electric, you can use that to make your hot water. Really nice, large pass-through storage compartment here that runs the full width of the trailer. The latches to hold your doors up are magnets rather than having plastic clips like a lot of trailers do. These new Jayco's are all pre-wired for the Furion camera system. There's a, a connection for a rear backup camera in the back and then these side markers are all wired for side cameras. There's cameras available as an option that fit right on here and show you down the side of the trailer uh, when you're trying to park, they could be a big help for you. You can see one of the kind of nice features on these also is fun. These little LED lights light up on the front. There's a switch right inside your compartment that uh, light those up just for a little bit of a bling at the campground at night. They come standard with a power tongue jack. Uh, it also includes a light for hooking up at night. Two propane bottles come with every Jayco. In your front storage compartment, you can see this key. This is a battery disconnect that'll completely cut off all the power from your battery. So especially when you're in storage, you're not using it, your battery is, is protected from any kind of drains that might be from the trailer, propane alarm, your TV antenna, those type of things could slowly eat your battery you disconnect it and then you're good to go. All J feathers come standard with an outside shower. This pulls out five or six feet, has a spray head on it, and you have hot and cold water here. So for rinsing off the dog, the kids, perhaps you have a grill that's all dirty, you don't want to take it inside to clean it. Uh, you have hot water out here, which is real nice. So your connection is here to dump your tanks. There's a sewer hose that you can store in the bumper that connects onto here and then you pull this handle to dump your black tank and then the gray tank handle is underneath the slide out it comes out the same spot on a J feather they give you this connection here they call a tank flush hook a garden hose up to here turn on the water open up this black tank valve and it's just going to run clean water through your tank and rinse everything out make it all nice and clean for you Here's connection for cable TV. If you had access at a campground to cable, that's where you would hook it up. J Feathers come standard with a ladder. You have a full walkable roof. You can kind of see there's an art shape in the roof. It's rated for 4,500 pounds. So uh, snow load or people up there to walk around isn't gonna be any kind of a problem. You can also see the connection for the optional camera that I mentioned. Jayco's developed this new lighting system, which as far as I know is unique. They have reverse lights on their campers, and they also have your turn signals wired up to these two LED lights on each side, and also to your side marker lights. So when you put on your right turn signal, not only does it blink down here, but it blinks up there and on the side. So it's a real nice safety feature. It's new for Jayco. This is a connection for your 30 amp power cord that uh, was stored in the front compartment. And of course you get a spare tire as standard. Coming around this side, you'll see under here is a 
quick connect for a barbecue grill. There's a accessory grill that actually plugs into this receiver and mounts here and then the hose hooks up to the connection underneath. If you don't get the accessory grill from Jayco, any kind of low pressure grill you could buy, you could connect there and just set it on your picnic table, whatever you choose. So before we get started on the inside, I thought I'd show you the awning. That's a real nice feature on this. It's, it's quite large, gives you a big protected area outside. You could put it out as far as you want. You could stop it whenever you want. And obviously the further out you get it, the little bit less stable it is if it's a windy day. But if you have the room and the weather's right, it still has a foot and a half or so to go. Once you get it out, you can adjust the, the pitch of the awning by just pulling down on these bars on either side. You can tilt it back and forth and get better shade. Or if you want the rain to run off of one side versus the other, it gives you the option. So let's go inside. I'll show you some of the other features on this trailer. This is the rear bath floor plan. Uh, name for obvious reasons. You have this real nice bathroom back here. I'll step in. There's a lot of storage. See, this is really deep. Goes all the way back with a shelf. There's also a bar here. This shelf is removable and you could use it as a wardrobe closet. More storage in there. Medicine cabinet. Space under the vanity. This is kind of a highlight too, this real nice corner shower. And then here next to the shower is even more storage. A real nice bath, uh, big enough to get changed in. Perhaps you have people want to get on a swimsuit or something, they could come in here, shut the door, and uh, have plenty of room to get changed and get some privacy. There's a, a sliding wooden door that comes right across and latches with this bungee for when you're traveling. So moving around here, I guess, we'll just make the rounds. You have, this is a, what they call a jackknife sofa. Just flips over that easy to provide an extra bed. Your booth dinette also converts to a bed. You have storage underneath both sides. Real nice window layout here. You have windows on all three sides. What sets a more premium trailer apart is the fact that they put windows on the side of the slide box rather than just on the front edge. You have all kinds of control over different lights with the various switches. The bedroom gives you a full queen bed with USBs on both sides, an outlet on both sides. There's also a switch on each side that Can you see that back in here? There's like a little night light glow back in the, in the corners, which is kind of cool. A lot of storage. This is one big compartment. Wardrobes on both sides, again, with a removable shelf or a bar for hanging clothes. So you have a lot of uh, options as to what to do. Another vent with a fan. The air conditioning in this is the standard is 13,500 uh, BTUs, all ducted through the ceiling. So you have ducts in the bedroom, ducts here, even into the bathroom. Uh, they give you this nice double sink with a cutting board and a drain board, comes standard. This is a solid seamless countertop, no, no seams here, no lamination. Big storage underneath. Here we have a pan drawer under the stove. This is kind of a clever feature here. This pops up and you have USBs and outlets here right at the kitchen. This is the newest stove top with this flush glass top, Furion stove and oven that folds back. Nice solid steel top. This is kind of fun. You can turn this on and again have a night light. And when you turn these on, they light red, if you can see that. So whenever you're using a burner, it lights up red. An outside vented exhaust fan, light, and a microwave. This interior, by the way, this is what they call modern farmhouse. There's a couple of different selections on J Feathers. This has proved really popular. Jayco came out with this a few years ago in some of the motorhomes, and now it's spread to just about everything that they make. Um, 
This trailer, to get to the statistics here, is, is just under 6,000 pounds. They call this 5946, and the length is 30 feet. 30 feet 7 inches to be exact. Another feature we have here is this new 12 volt compressor refrigerator. So I have this hooked up to a jump box for about 15 minutes and this is already really cold in here. The freezer especially. Um, these will cool rapidly. They can be operated at any angle unlike the gas absorption refrigerators that run on propane. This will be powered from your battery on the front of the trailer so you can drive with your refrigerator on and your propane off without any issue. So you can still get the old style refrigerator. It's only a $30 option for this new compressor fridge, but this seems to be the way that the industry's going. People really seem to like it. It works really well. There's even more storage here, a shallow, deep drawer. Uh, moving around here, the TV is standard. So in addition to the TV, you also get a standard entertainment system here, which consists of a AM, FM. Uh, it's also Bluetooth capable. You can pair your phone, play your podcast or your Spotify, whatever you have. And there's an auxiliary input. So you could plug in another device, whatever you might have. And then there's speakers here and there built into the ceiling. And there's also a selection to play the speakers outside. Here's some more storage up here, but I put on the fan. This, and some people refer to this as a fantastic fan. I think it's actually Max Air Fan is the brand, but I have it on low. And I could turn that up and really get some air moving in here. If uh, it's a muggy night and you opened a bedroom window and put this fan on, uh, it would really draw the air through. One of the highlights of this trailer is here right inside the door. This is a huge closet slash pantry. Whatever you'd want to do, it's, it's pretty unique. You don't see many with that kind of storage. Here's your main switches for living room lights, your awning light outside, and there's a security light which is on the back side of the trailer by your slide out. Jayco's come out with this new feature called J Command. J Command is the control center for all the features on the trailer. So here you have motors they call it which is your awning and your slide out and extend and retract. Here's your climate control. So here's your AC and then here's your tank levels. And here's water. You have your water pump. You have your water heater that'll work on electric or on gas and you can choose and turn on whichever you want. There's some basic lighting buttons here that you can turn on your inside or outside lights. You can check your temperature for your climate control and you can put your water pump on and off. This is also uh, capable to be operated off of a smartphone. There's an app you can get. Pair that to your J command. You can work all these features uh, right off an app on your phone. This is also wired for solar. So people that did a lot of camping off the grid where there were no hookups at all, you could get solar. Some people even get a second battery. You could power up just about everything on here except for your 110 volt accessories like air conditioning and the microwave. You also have all the standard safety equipment, a fire extinguisher. There's a smoke detector up here over my head. Uh, down here at the floor level is a carbon monoxide. And, uh, propane alarm. You also are covered by Jayco's warranty. They give you a two-year warranty on everything and a three-year warranty on what they call the structure, which is the, the box itself. So I think that pretty much covers it. This is the J Feather 25RB here at Fretz RV. We carry the full line of Jayco, J Flights, J Feathers. They're ultralight trailers. So stop by and see us. Again, my name is Rick Hand. I'm a full-time salesperson here. Feel free to contact me with any questions. My extension here at the office is 108. So I hope to hear from you. Thanks again.